Thank you so much, Mayor Parker. Thank you, Dr. Lawson, and thanks to everyone on the selection committee. Thanks to the city for picking me for this. Words cannot express right now, maybe until I sit down and write them, how extremely honored I am to be this, to be the first poet laureate for Houston. I am looking very much forward to using this platform as a way to build bridges between our diverse communities. I'm excited about visiting with all kinds of people in Houston and hearing what they can express to me in verse. Thank you. Her, actually, I misspoke her term of services for two years. And uh, we received 21 nominees and uh, interviewed six finalists to uh, get to the nominee. Are there any questions about our poet laureate process? Uh, Mayor, um, the city of Houston is host to um, literally hundreds of people who are into poetry. And this community is the community of rappers because poetry is the foundation of rap. Now, I'm not saying that she's going to be the rapper or anything like that. But it's she a, could. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. But it is appreciative that, we, that you have decided to take this course. And if you've ever been to a poetry slam, you can, you can figure out how close poetry can be to rap sometimes, too. Yeah, but you have taken the city on a course to, in, in, in nurturing the city and um, nurturing the cultural aspects of fine arts by pointing out the market for the city of Houston. And that's a great task. Thank you. I, I'm very excited uh, about this. And, and, uh, you're right. One of the things we have to do is to remind people that they are exposed to, to poetry in a lot of different, uh, through a lot of different mechanisms, and they just have to recognize it. But that uh, poetry is not something out there. Poetry is something intimate and close, and that each of us has the ability to better express ourselves in, in our feelings and words. Any other questions about this?